Red flag, red flag. What a moment this is for 24-year-old Thomas Maxwell. On the pole for the first time in the Dunlop series. Can he get that car moving from the pole nicely today? It's his teammate, Nick Fiore, who nails the start. We're racing with trouble in the background with a stalled car. They get away with it. Fiore leads to turn one. Matt Payne commits for Grove Racing to the outside. He oh. might make that one stick as Robotham goes really wide. Payne has cleared Maxwell. Look at him sliding up towards turn two. Will there be drama through here? There's a lot of cars to squeeze into not a lot of tarmac. Smoke, debris flying through the air. A bit of patience further back for the Super 3 cars. Fiore leads the field for Matt White Motorsport. Down this back straight, there's panel damage flying in the background. Look like a door skin peeling away and landing on the racing surface. Looked like Declan Fraser was one of the cars that were caught up in that first corner incident. He dropped back to ninth. He's made one of those spots back already up the back straight, but it was Tyler Everingham that sent it well up the inside at turn one. That bowled a few wide. Here we have Brad Vaughan and Zane Morse going at it. Cameron Crick trying to go around the outside. He'll be holding his breath there. Oh. Morse rolls out of it early. I think that's a wise move with everything going on ahead of him there. Turn 10 isn't much of a turn. It is if you're three wide, I imagine. <laughs> that's right. Brad Vaughan runs a little wide. Cameron Crick gets a run up the inside. So plenty going on in this first lap. Dean Fiore leads from Matt Payne. Thomas Maxwell, our pole man, third. Matt Charter, he's back in the game again, fourth. Jack Perkins has come up nicely in the fifth. Well, he's picking Shane Van Gisbergen's brain. A wealth of knowledge. Shane enjoying the opportunity to work oh, with him. Maxwell. Maxwell. Locks it up and runs it wide. It's unraveling for the pole sitter. Charter's through. Perkins goes with him. Thomas Maxwell, a big front lock down in the dandy road at the end of the back straight. Ran him wide. Matt Charter got around the outside, as did Jack Perkins. So our pole man slipping down the order. And it's just popped up on timing now as well. Under investigation, car 16, the race leader. For the race start, there you go, Motorsport Australia Race Control. Confirmation. Could it be? that Matt White Motorsport are first to the finish line in both races this weekend and lose both race wins. So, oh. oh, Everingham has locked the front. Cameron Hill saw him coming, went wide. Fraser gets a big run, as does Zach Best. So Declan Fraser doing what he did yesterday, keeping his nose clean and just finding his way through the pack. Everingham, he's being the aggressor. He's having a big dip. He was disappointed with qualifying 11th. He's going forward. He's not making many friends on the way through. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, the, the penalty is a harsh penalty. I mean, it wasn't a big crime. You know, effectively, he started 30 centimetres further forward than where he should have, but a rule's a rule. So a five seconds probably the lowest time penalty they can give someone. But like you said, Chad, if you get a safety car at the end of the race, that five second penalty can turn into a, turn a three or four spot penalty into a 10 or 12 spot penalty depending on how bunched up the field is. Oh, this is cool. Morse versus Morris. Oh, oh. These two racing alphabetically up towards turn two. Oh, the rear end of that car stepping out for a moment as he tries to get the jump back. Finally sort that argument out. Talking about arguments, we've got another one down here. At turn one, Stephen Page has gone around in the Page Brothers RV Commodore. Spins himself around. Rejoins the journey. Oh, a bit okay. going on here. Oh, it's going from bad to worse for Thomas Maxwell. And he's oh, going to turn the championship leader. Leader around. Oh, that had a sniff of something happening. The other 888 race engineer in Commodore, Cam Hill, was on the inside, on the other side of the racetrack. He's going to get gobbled up by a couple here. Oh, they're three Need wide. Be careful. Missouri's and Hill. Door to door with his yeah, old team. Yeah, we're back. Reset, reset. We can just start picking them off from here, remember? And that big buffer has taken a hit here today. Fraser down in 17th place at the moment. Oh, it's not done yet, Chad. This is not done yet. Hill's on the wrong side. He's trying to go around the outside. You're dead. Whoa! Oh, look what's at this? going on here? What on earth? Cameron Hill over the curbs. Get a load of this. Is this some sort of driving demonstration or is it a car race? Welcome to the Dunlop series. Put that on a poster. That was formation flying down there at turn 11. Six cars in about six metres of road. 
So Hill now covers from Missouris. Missouris tries to go around the outside at turn one. Ends up bowling a wide. Jalen Robotham follows him. Kai Allen's going to go around the outside with yellow flags here. So need to be a little bit careful. James Masterton stuck off down in the weeds. And that's in a pretty dangerous spot. We see so many cars off on the outside of turn two. Safety car boards in flag, safety safety car boards surprising. In Motorsport Australia race control call. The BP Ultimate safety car straight away. 16 in at turn 10. Please make your way onto the circuit. Green lights on. We've got uh, Matt Nolte who's standing by for the podium out there. He's keeping an ear out for us. Gary Hill's car that is. No longer quite on all eight cylinders by the sounds of it. How about Matt Charter? Could he be on for his first ever race win here? He sits green third flag, on the road. Flag. So that's second outright. Fiore's five second time panel. Here we go. Fiore launches it off the final corner. Matt Payne goes with him. Pretty even restart between the top three. Should be two laps to go on the restart. Anything could happen from here. Hill to the inside. Oh, pull it up. Jay Hansen had it dancing in the rear. He runs wide. Oh, Kai Allen. First time we've seen him off the road all year. Has barely made an error. He'll struggle to get that back onto the road from down there. It's no man's land. He'll have to stay in the throttle to get it back up the hill. And he'll hand the advantage job, over to Brad Hall. Oh, hey, oh. Look at Zane Moore. So this has all happened somewhere on the restart because I saw big damage to the front Ooh. of Kai Allen's car. There's massive damage to the front of Ray Zane Moore's and Ray Hislop we saw in the background. So here we go. Bang! Oh. That's turn 11. Ouch. Yeah. So they've all stopped well, some of them into did. 11. And not everyone got the memo. Here they go. They all stopped. Cam Hill was in there. He was one of them as well. Gee. What we're saying, they might not even get back to the start line in that order. You called it. You called it. And there's Kai Allen to the right of screen. Off he goes. Whilst live to the left of screen, Dean fiori has got his head down, trying to minimise the time for the pain from that five-second time penalty he carries over from the start of this one. Oh, Fiore's pretty deep in there. Did he get stopped? How will this one finish up? Who knows where to look? Double yellows. Yellow, double yellows in the background. Oh, oh Fiore, the leader's off. off. They're all off. There's mud everywhere. Charters are all out. Oh, my goodness. Big one in the background. There's the more to it. In. They're all in. Look at the mud. There's our championship Broke leader. Finds his way through. Crazy moment on the last lap. And the lid well and truly popped off this one since the restart. <laughs> That was big. That is incredible. Just look at all the mud and junk. It's not over yet, Chad. We're going to race back to the chequered flag. Zach Best. He's dropped like a stone. I've... Look at it. Look at pit lane. Every team. Hands no on their idea. heads. What? How did that happen? It's going to happen from here. But it's going to be Dean Fiore. He won't quite get the lead he needs to win it. Well done. Awesome work. Awesome Grove work. Racing, second time a winner. Jack Perkins just no, pops up no, no, to be second no, for the race. No, Best did stay fourth. I thought he dropped further He dropped than that. down, yeah. yeah. It no. popped back up again. So fourth for Best. And look at this. Well, I hope everyone's all right down there. Jason Domisal. That's Cameron Crick having a look to see if he's okay. Owner at Matt Stone Racing. Dave Couchy celebrating. Jack Bell, the engineer for Matt Payne, and just, yeah, explaining to him, watch out mm. for the incident down here. There's a bit going on up at turns two and three. Look at all the junk in the front of Fiore's car. So he was the first there. So something's happened on the restart lap at the back of the field. And when the front of the field has come back around. Oh, what a shame for T-Max as well. Started on the pole today. Yeah, nothing to show for it. Ange Missourius was involved. Could this weekend have gone any worse for Matt White Motorsport? They cross the finish line twice in the lead, and on both occasions lose at the post-race penalties and get some race cars torn up. And it's Matt Payne, his second race win. Jack Perkins, a bit of experience there. The old boys finishing first and third on the road, keeping it out of drama. Zach Best putting some championship pressure back onto Declan Fraser. Fraser, must be said, did a really good job to avoid all that as well and pick up some points. A crazy one in the Dunlop series. And was it Brad Vaughan in the end? 
It was eighth outright. I had to look so far up the order to yes. find him. Oh, man. Well, Kai Allen recovers to 22nd. And uh, hopefully everyone's OK down there at turns two and three, because that was a big one. And just they all tried to stop. Just couldn't.